Control. That grand final set, that winner's final set, my, excuse me, was so disgusting. The buzz was playing really well, just shutting yeah. down any sort of options that Nixie got going. That's how you fight Falcon. You don't let him set up anything. That's what the buzz did very beautifully in winner's finals. We'll see what's going to happen here in grand finals, the player's ball ultimate. Let's get it. Yeah, man, it's one thing to have practice against Omar. It's another to know the DeBuzz matchup. And not just because he plays differently, but because he's so much better than everyone. He's got his own little special brand that just works. But either way, we're going to see him holding down center stage. This is probably what he's looking for most of the set, right? Just don't get knocked off stage. If I'm in the center, not only do I have the room to retreat and make their approaches riskier, but I'm further from being literally knocked off the level when I get hit and set up into a spike. Well, that was kind of an interesting move choice for uh, Nick C. He actually went for down tilt to put DeBuzz at a weird angle. He didn't do that at all the last time they fought. It's good so, against Olimar. Yeah. So just I, I think wide open on the way up. He's probably going to put that into his arsenal a little bit more this set. Yeah, when Olimar recovers high, he's got a lot of options. He can use that up B, kind of like a, a third jump, and come down with an aerial from above. But yeah, if he's low, could be easy pickings for Falcon. Not the easiest, but certainly better than any other scenario. Okay, so that was a different change from Winner's Finals. Nixie actually getting the first stock versus Blood. They're still tied, but like, you know, that, that's a definitely a hell of a lot better start. That whistle escape from DeBuzz, though, just so aware of the ways he can avoid continually getting hit, man. Like, I used to think DeBuzz had some obvious air dodge patterns. Oh, but maybe he still I think does. He, he still does, bro. As uh, you, you called it out completely, a knee. Coming out from Nixie after after the air dodge. And that's what Falcon wants! Oh my he wants lord! The air down smash. Dude, this is a completely different Nixie from the one I saw in Winter's this Finals. Is, this is the this, one who was fighting Venia. This is the I don't give a fuck Nixie. Yeah, this is true. who that is. I don't think he has ever given fucks, man. Like the, the way he's playing is just absolutely off the wall. Wow, Neen Pikmin! He knows it can be useful against all of Right, marks. extend that hitbox. Make it last longer. Okay, Nixie looking for this option. Dash attack. Just cast that landing. I mean, it's a very good tool for anyone that's just jumping in on you. All right. Breezing through with the dash attack. It's a great Pikmin killing tool. Nixie, wow, throwing Olimar off, killing the purple Pikmin in the process, and I think a red as well. Wow, dude. <laughs> I can't believe he's doing this. Down smash? Oh, Up what is this, Falcon man? Dive? Nixie. And, yeah, that's a great answer to Olimar's recovery when he's forced to come up with it. And Nixie chose right. Now, if anyone was here for Winner's Finals and saw what happened between these two, it was kind of just a shutdown. The buzz just like cleaned it up like it was another day at work, clock in, clock out. But all of a sudden, now we see a Nick C, who's just off the verge of beating Venia a second time in Loser's Finals. Maybe that was like the momentum boost he needs to carry into this? I don't know, man. He's powered up now. Something about going to the Loser's Bracket, something about that set against Venia. Actually, no, it was before that, right? Because he, he channeled that energy into a 3-0 on Venia. Bro, what if it's the girlfriend power-up? His girlfriend's here It could be, it could be yeah. Hey, man, that's why we need more formals, yeah. yo. Bring bring your date to I mean, power you up. Now, this is the first time that uh, Nixie's girlfriend has attended the tournament. Oh, the yeah. yeah. So I wonder, if, <laughs> dude, what's that's the power-up, bro? It's the first time I've seen Nixie make, like, you know, in the $400 range at a tournament. Yeah. So The power of love, dude. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. I'll find it someday, bro. <laughs> here we go. Dash attack straight to the shield. Of the buzz by Nick. I mean, what a bold opening, but he barely got punished for it at all. If, if at all. Right. Okay, forward smash, catch out that landing. Good stuff from the buzz. I'm seeing a lot more down airs coming out from the buzz as he's going back down for the landing. He's calling out all these aggressive options from Nick C, setting up shop. This is what the buzz likes, this is where he thrives. Oh, again, just using the knee as an anti Pikmin tool. I think it's really smart, but we haven't seen it pull. Uh, come through to full effect. I think the buzz is aware. Hitting. Yeah, yeah. At the very least, he's not going to like put himself right there because you have to be too close to the actual knee anyway. Okay, we've seen a lot of jumps here to try to avoid these Pikmin throws. He, like, honestly, the only ways to beat those is to avoid them or just hold shield. <gasps> Catch the dare. Didn't even Bro, get the spike. Oh Dude, he was at fucking 50. That was sour spot. Yeah. Oh, I mean... The term sour spot on that move right, should right. be used pretty loosely, right? It's still like, strong. It's still ridiculous, yeah. It's not the spike. Yeah. There we go. Another situation. Two stocks apiece. The buzz back up. A nice damage off of one up smash. Puts him at 61% before laying back down onto the ground. And that Raptor boost so tricky to punish, man. Way faster than it used to be. And smash four at the end. Oh, you know what Nick was looking for. Yeah. Another up B to send him out. Could have continued the edge guard off of that. Oh! Oh! Yo, he wants it, dude. When I see Nick hit somebody, man, especially if it's with Town Air or like Nair 1, I just expect them to die. 
So yeah. I could be losing my shit for no reason on a bunch of moves. <laughs> oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ! And cross stage, that's enough. He gave him the backhand, bro. <laughs> Yo, what is going on? All right, good patience from Nabuzz. He recognized that the hitbox was going to last a little bit longer, so he delayed the up smash as a retort. Look at that. Power hitters from Nabuzz. Those purple aerials coming out. Not enough to do the job, but still dangerously close here. Nick leading out 160. Oh, if he didn't do that jump, that could have been real clean. Could have been the start of something beautiful. Oh, with the late nair, too. What is he uh, doing? What? Wait, good on Nabuzz. Oh. Opting over the double jump and then challenges Nick C off stage. That's ballsy. Yo, Get the hell out of here, Nick. Real talk, though, I think that down air actually cost the buzz a ton of damage. Yeah. Nick C was able to get on stage before him. Okay, now Nick potentially putting this into a 2-0 situation. Just one big hit away. Falcon oh kick, throw it out. Who cares? I don't even know where Nick... Where is Nick going when he does that stuff? I, I don't know, man. F smash, good good answer, but still living still alive. alive yeah. That was across the entirety of FD, though. All there right. we go, closes it out. And to Buzz, about to drop a set Roll. potentially to a Captain Falcon. Roll. Roll again. Yeah, man. You can't get away with anything against this guy. If you don't roll or don't pick a scared option, he's just going to come and he's going to bulldoze you. But if you do, he's already covering that, man. He knows there's fear in your heart. and He wants to get the extra big punish that your roll or your air dodge gave him the extra time to do. Dude, I'm scared to death to do it any sort of, like, defensive option against Nick. I would be too, man. That's but then so scary. If you're not picking them, though, he's just mowing you down. Right. Because that's what he wants. Like you said, he thrives off that fear. Do you think there's yeah. going to be a counter pick from uh, the buzz here? It's possible. Oh, I see the Rosalina. Rosalina. Yeah, all right. Well, you know what? If there's ever a time, it's when you're up a set, right? Right. He's got and, and when you're losing with your main. Mm. So I so think this is the right call from the buzz. At least try something else. And yeah. You just saw him destroy uh, Frozen and Jen today. So I don't think Paulus Hanna is even on the menu right now. Right. So, but the thing is, so like you said, this is the right time to do it. He's, he's down two to zero, so he's got nothing really to lose here. He could just throw away this game as an experiment with this character and start a brand new, fresh set next time. That up air was ridiculous from Nick. Big Dick Nick in the building, dude. <laughs> this guy is a living legend. Oh, he's no! Dead. Oh, man. He's dead! I was going to say, like, that going back sick. to Smash 4, even when Rosa was way better, this wasn't a horrible matchup for Falcon. I don't think he won, but I think he did pretty decently. Except off stage, where that down air can just rip you away. I mean, this matchup literally made me quit Falcon, dude. In case you guys are wondering where my Falcon went, it was because of Rosa. Like, not even that it's bad. I just got dared at 24 times in a set. But <laughs> you got to remember, that's though. That's the lore. That's the lore of Captain Falcon from uh, Doom. Yeah, Juice Doom, bro. Juice Doom's Captain Falcon. I was still max catching the whole time, but it's yeah, funnier. Yeah, yeah. To, you know, whatever. <laughs> Either way, the buzz back in the driver's seat, if only for a little bit here. I mean, 104 as a paperweight character like Rosa, it's not going to last long. But but he's off stage. Yeah, you just can't hit the buzz sometimes. Okay, gets Luma out of there with the down smash and starts going back after Rosa. Gives him about a couple seconds before he's Luma-less. So he's going to stall for as long as possible out there to get Luma to come back onto the stage. Yeah, and also throwing off Nick C's timing. Getting to the edge a little bit late. I like that fadeaway. But again, that's like a prime opportunity for Nixie to try to go for a, a spike or an edge guard. It's because Rosalina is completely vulnerable when she goes for that up B. Here it comes. Oh, back air, yeah, untackable. Yeah. He's been looking for that, man. Just splatting you against the wall. Yep. That thing looks dangerous, dude. Okay, Luma. Luma goes at the, for the edge attack. is dangerous, dude. Right. And Nick just trying to throw out the big moves that will send Luma flying. Even if you get hit by Rosa, it could be worth it. Wow, Nair 2, even with no damage on Luma? Uh, excuse me, dude. Okay. Good recovery from DeBuzz. He stalled that perfectly to get back onto the stage. Oh, that was crazy. He knew that DeBuzz was going to block, but the slight rise from his up B and also just the drift, I think, ruining the punish for him. Oh, and I think he got stuck in blocks done too there because he got a roll behind instead of presumably like a dash grab to punish that attack. Now, Captain Falcon has a lot of tools in his arsenal to get rid of that Luma. Like, that, I think that's one of his strengths in this matchup. Yes, like, absolutely. Dash attack, any of his tilts, any of his aerials. They send him. They send Luma flying. That's the goal of the game: is to get Luma off stage. Yeah, you gotta land them correctly though, because there's there's times where it just isn't so easy for Falcon. Yeah. And man, he's working this one back. Don't let the percents fool you. Okay, maybe you should listen to the percents. Yeah, I was gonna say Rosa's just as quick, the or, double up or smash. just as close to dying as Falcon would be. Ooh. The pressure from the forward air? Yeah, the of knee? course, not nearly safe enough, though. Same melee. Not at all. Though sometimes Nick makes it look that way. Every now and then. 
Okay, forward air. Mm, and is that down tilt is so dangerous for Falcon. He's man. out of jumps. Has to go for the early upbeat to avoid that edge guard from the buzz. Oh, Gets the, the up, up smash. smash! That's been the MVP move for Nick today. Saw him clutch that game against Frozen just off a little charge on an up smash. Oh, man. The amount of kills he's gotten with that move just today alone. Yeah, especially on these tall, big target characters like Rosa and Palu. Okay, he's got him off stage again. I think he still has his double jump. Maybe not. It might be gone. Regardless, gets back onto the stage. I think down with the Nair pops him up. Ooh. But Nixie's sitting at 150%. Oh. This is dangerous. That Luma kill could have been huge, but actually with all that stage behind her, I don't think it would have done it. Yeah. So he would have had to get off Rosa. Yeah. Oh! Oh! <laughs> that, was, that was buffer. Dude, okay, so when you buffer an aerial in this game, two things can happen. If you do it with C-Stick, sometimes you'll get the buffered Nair, but then other times you'll get where you were holding your control stick instead of your C-Stick, and I think that just happened to Nick there. He wanted a drifting back knee, but instead he got back air. Back air. That could have been it, too, but looks like Rosalina Luma might be the answer for the buzz. He's going to be rewarded for his experimentation here. Yeah, at the very least, he's able to win on his own counter pick, final destination here. We'll see how this shakes out on a different stage, though. Now that Nick sees the one in control of the map, um, I don't know. I think we're going to go somewhere smaller, right? Somewhere along the lines of Battlefield, maybe Smashville. But I don't know if the buzz is going to let him do that. We're in a little bit of a different rule set here. It's five stages, one band. Or uh, TDSR. I love which that. I still don't even know what the hell the T stands for. Uh, the T stands for uh, Theodore. Theodore. Theodore David. Stupid rule. Theodore. <laughs> Theodore's David. Uh, Theodore's, Theodore's Dave. David's stupid, stupid rule. Um, hey, let's go to PS2 for game number four. Nixie's counter pick. Instead of opting to go for the smaller stage, we're going for the one of the biggest stages out there. Let's see if this is going to work out nicely for Nick or not. I mean, this does give him the ability to be able to just, like, uh, dash around, if you will. Be able to give him some breathing room to <coughs> feel away from the pressure from the buzz. Could come in handy. All right. Nick C, though, still yet to even land a hit, man. Yeah. It's been tough. There he goes. Gets the Luma off there with the forward tilt. Very good option for deleting Luma. Still trying to play ba a little bit basic there with the neutral air off on the edge of the stage. Drags him off. Nixie going to avoid the final swing of that aerial. And here we go. Air dodges in. Gets the rapid jab. Sends him flying in an awkward direction because Luma might have been facing the different way. But gets the forward air upon landing and takes away that first stock from Nick. Rosina and Luma might be helping out a lot right now. Yeah, I think just a matchup that he's faced more times. I mean, even in a different game, you still kind of understand the ins and outs of it a bit. This could be helping to buzz out. And I don't know, man. It's so hard to call, like, what each person's relative experience is in a particular matchup. And then, like, the head-to-head -head matters a lot. So I don't know. Yeah, it, it just can be tough. So here we go. Jumping more into it. Three stocks to two. This could be stage control happening in DeBuzz's favor. I feel like this entire time, like, DeBuzz is feeling a lot more like that first set from Winner's Finals. He's doing a fantastic job of just disallowing Nixie any sort of stage control. Not not really letting him run around the stage as much. Okay, gets a grab. The Gentleman's going to be a really good option just to push him back off stage. Yeah, it's so good against Luma, too, if you manage to connect that. Oh, but the down tilt going to get the job done anyway. Hard option for the short people. Oh, wow, it sounds so much different in here with the door closed. Yeah, right? <laughs> anyway, oh, you guys aren't here. That doesn't matter. To you. Yeah, yeah, come on. Yeah, I, I kind of like some, letting some air in. Yeah, yeah, Not even just for the feel, but... I'm sweating, I dog. feel like I'm really at the event. I'm now. actually burning alive. Either way, man. Um, the buzz just on fire. Where you're thinking could have been a reset. Could just turn around really quick. I mean, Nick still has some time to figure this out. Love that cross-up back air there. Completely ignoring Luma, too. I mean, this is the this is the trouble part for Nick C, right? He's got another brand new matchup to learn compared to like fighting against the likes of Olimar. Yeah, and all, uh, Rosalina getting a couple changes that aren't just nerfs since Smash Four, namely that new neutral air, something you wouldn't have to deal with previously. A great pressure tool. Oh wow, just sending Luma to the fucking moon right yeah, there. See you later. And that Ducktail scene playing in the background. <laughs> Oh, that could have been super good for Nick, but man, to buzz. Just so good when he has the lead, man. Like Right there, Nixie had a parry and was going for an option, but Luma was not stuck in that stun, man. Luma just swung. Yeah, and I love that follow-up that the buzz got the back air to dash attack. Okay, Falcon Kick. I feel like the buzz was fishing for that Falcon Kick. He wanted it. 
Yeah, when he, this guy learns your options at a disadvantage, you're done. It's just actually over for you. And even though, like, he doesn't main Rosalina as much, he's still... He, the amount of control the Buzz has over Luma is outstanding. Like, putting him on the ledge on purpose like that? Master of puppets, dude. Metallica yeah. made a whole album about this guy. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Nick finding a way in with that super deep, super late back air. Debuzz forced all the way back to the corner. Oh, and he's stuck on the edge in the down smash. All right, Nick still on the verge of resetting the bracket here. Just needs to play the stock of his fucking life right now. That was such a great, like, turn of events right there. Let's see if he can get back onto the stage. Avoids the Luma. Oh, Gets the caught by the up smash. Yeah. Fantastic anti-air. But I, I want to talk about that little ledge option Nixie just did, right? So he connected the trump, missed the back air but it allowed for a re-grab on DeBuzz, and because DeBuzz had no invulnerability upon re-grab, he had to go for an option immediately. That's exactly what Nixie wanted. He was like, he went for the down smash that covered get up attack, normal get up, and roll. Like, so like, it, it covered so many different options, and he knew DeBuzz was gonna go for a panic one. That's how he was able to connect that down smash. Good stuff, again, that's Nixie just thriving into the opponent's sphere. Unfortunately, couldn't close out the game. Now we have ourselves a potential final game of the tournament. DeBuzz one game away from taking home the entire thing. Well, let's see, man. Rosalina looking like the clear choice here. And if these guys ever cross paths at a local in the near future, I'm sure you can expect to see him go straight off of Olimar and uh, onto the Space Princess that everybody loves so, so much. Absolutely. And the, here's the small stage counter that you were talking about previously. We finally got Smashville coming on deck. Nixie tried the bigger stage. He just needed Luma. He didn't have to do that, but he did it anyways. Yeah, and you saw Luma got stuck there like well after Falcon was able to move to. Yeah. Super funny. Either way, man, Nixie off to a pretty strong start. All right, tiny percent lead. Obviously not damning for DeBuzz or anything, but still something to work with. And it turns around so quickly. Let's see how DeBuzz is able to hold the advantage today. I'd say his strongest suit as a player yeah, is like not I, letting you land. As Rosalina, not allowing your opponent to land, get down to the ground, those up airs cover so many different options. And that up smash too for the hard punish at the end of it all. Wow, Luma, she started up as Rosalina did. And Nick only interrupted Rosa from attacking there. Okay, so. gets the back air. Catches Nick's the ledge jumps, dude. The buzz though, so solid off the one hit. Oh no, he's out of jumps. Oh, he yeah, avoided he it. it, but no buffer on the turnaround. Tricky there for Nixie. He wanted to act on the first possible frame, but just had to wait one more for the turnaround to go through. You know, the buzz might put that into the uh, notes for later. It's like next time he gets Nixie without a jump, he might just try to predict that early recovery. Yes, exactly. It's kind of the curse of Falcon, right? You have a lot of drift to work with. can be pretty ambiguous, but still, overall, that move is very easy to follow. Very limited with the options. Okay, there goes okay. Luma. No, no, she's she's alive. She just right, but out of the battle for a bit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Stop so crying. scared. Yeah, fighting to do. Oh, man. One stock. The final stock for Nick. Can he pull this through? If anyone's got fighting to do, it's Nick C right now. This is the last breath of his tournament life. He was working on a 3-0 here to buzz. Not to turn that around on him if nothing dramatic happens here. But this up air chain. Oh, no, never mind. It, he needed that, too. Like yeah. that, that, that was crucial. You can't let the buzz breathe at all. And that new nair for Rosa is so crucial right there. If it was the old one, she would have started in the back, you know, and not yeah. been able to fight out of disadvantage, especially with the hitbox that good. And I, I love that recovery from the buzz. You saw him just mix up where he's going to go for the ledge or they cross the entirety of the stage, and Nixie wasn't able to react in time to try to chase after her. 102% on DeBuzz trying to catch. It. Oh, he ah. bet it all by trying to go for that low edge guard. DeBuzz catching him completely off guard by just going for the immediate double jump, almost reacting to Nixie's edge guard. Jumps above him, gets the downer, gets the stage spike, and that's going to be a th reverse 3 0 from DeBuzz with Rosalina Luma, your player's ball ultimate champion.